What up? I'm Josh Paulison, and welcome to Your Story Now. So what we're going to look at now is applying those brainstorming techniques to actually creating a story. You might have seen that early on we were kind of rushing through and going, well, you know, here's a story, so here's our one, two, three, and I'm going to brainstorm a bunch of stuff, but maybe you're struggling to do the brainstorming a bunch of stuff. I've done this enough and I have enough techniques where I'm comfortable just running through, but if you're struggling with that, I want to show you how you can apply brainstorming techniques in those beginning phases so that you can actually develop out your story, so that you can actually develop out a concept that you're happy with. So the really most important thing in order to develop a story is to have a vision. Because if you are trying to create a story and you have no goals, it's just, well, I want to make a story, that's not really enough. So your vision might be that you want to make a sad story. Your vision might be something completely different. It might be a hilarious story. It might be that your vision is instead to make a story with a theme. Like maybe your theme is that you want to talk about hope is good, or you want to make a story about the dangers of lying, or you want to make a story that brings awareness to an issue. You have a lot of possibilities here, but you need to start with that vision. And once you have that vision, once you have a piece, from there, you can end up actually brainstorming out your story. But the most important thing is to start with that vision, especially if you are struggling. You might just be like, I want to make a story, then use the random brainstorming method. And if you're using the random brainstorming method, then you can come up with something. But maybe you have some goals, maybe you have some pieces. And so in this video, we're going to do the starts of a vision. So let's say that you have some issues that you are very, very passionate about. Let's say that you are passionate about depression. And so you want to make a story about depression. Or let's say alternatively that you want to make one about anxiety. Or maybe you care a lot about abuse. Or maybe you really want to talk about human trafficking. So there are a lot of different issues that you could talk about. And really none of these are better or worse than another. Now, if you feel more passionate about one of these, that's the sort of thing that you really want to hold on to. If you have a lot of passion about the issue of anxiety, you're not better or worse than somebody who makes a story about human trafficking. They are completely, I mean, saying they're completely different topics, there's definitely things that tie into each other, but what I would say is, Choose a vision that you're passionate about. It might be an issue that I don't care about, that's okay. Pick something that you're passionate about. So let's say that then you go, okay, well, I want to make my story about anxiety, but that doesn't give me anything. Just saying I want a story about anxiety, how does that help me? Well, there's something that you can do here. One of them is that you can consider, how do I want to demonstrate this theme? Because there's many ways that you could. One of them is that you can have a character process through anxiety. It depends on your goals. So if your if your goal, if your vision is, your vision can't just be anxiety. That's something that you're passionate about. So you have to clarify your vision. I want people to see how real anxiety is. Or maybe it's that you want people to understand how strong anxiety can be. You could have a lot of different specific visions. And the main issue is that you need to have that goal. You need to have that personal vision for the story. So then if you want people to see how real anxiety is, or let's say that you say, I want people to see how strong anxiety can be. Starting with that then, having that as a vision, the next question becomes, okay, how do we tie things in? What is strong anxiety? What does that make us think of? And this gives us a segue into how we brainstorm. Let's look at strong anxiety. What would we tie into that? And this will be different for every person. For one person, they might say fear. For another person, they might say social events. Somebody could say, that when they think of strong anxiety, they think of shaking. Somebody could w say when they think of strong anxiety, they think of nervousness. Or somebody might think, well, you know, when I was anxious, it led me to failing. So I think of failure. And you could tie that into feeling like a failure. What we are doing here is starting with our vision, with our core idea. 
And what that does is that it gives us places that we can express this theme. We could say, well, you know what? I want people to see how strong anxiety can be. And one of the areas that that can be shown is through feeling like a failure. So now we have perhaps our main character feels like a failure. Now, do we want to show them recovering from this feeling? Do we want to show them crumbling to this feeling? What's your vision? If your vision is to show how strong anxiety can be, you could do that through showing how much strength it takes to overcome it, or you could show it really crumbling a person and have it be more of a tragedy. Totally up to you. I like having the hopeful uptick, so my personal way that I would approach this would be that so-and-so overcomes their feelings of being a failure. Now you might say there's, there's not anxiety listed here. Anxiety is not listed as a part of this. But what we have already looked at is a way that we can show that strong anxiety. So overcomes their feelings of being a failure is overcoming their anxiety. In fact, we can even write this in the list of events. If we know that that's the main thing, then it could be blank realizes how strong their anxiety is. And what this brainstorming does is that it helps us to start from a vision. Remember, we started from what are things that we care about and we chose anxiety. And then we say, okay, what do I want to demonstrate about anxiety? Growing a vision. I want people to see how real anxiety is, or I want people to see how strong anxiety can be. And then we get our vision more clearly. I want people to see how strong anxiety can be. And then we brainstormed, okay, well, what is strong anxiety? What does it make us think of? And one of those things was feeling like a failure. So that's an example of how the base brainstorming technique can help you develop out a story concept where now we know that we want our main character to overcome their feelings of being a failure. Again, if you're going for a tragedy, then it might be that somebody succumbs to their feelings of being a failure. But this is a really powerful way to begin brainstorming your story. And in the next video, we are going to begin moving in some other areas of writing and some other struggles and show how these brainstorming techniques can help you progress there.